Today I'm having some ginger ale in this super adorable little cup. I think I got it from either. Uh -huh. So if I'm being real with you guys right now, I have to tell you that this is um, makeup from last night. And the first thing I thought of was reduce, reuse, recycle. You know, it still kind of like looks like I did my makeup today. And I don't know why, but I couldn't get myself to take it off. I'm having some ginger ale today in this super adorable spooky cup. I believe I got this from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, a store like that. I also have it with a pumpkin as well. Um, you would have seen my pumpkin one in my vlogs because I pour my orange juice into that one every day. But anyways, we're gonna do a Dollar Tree haul. I'm finding that so far I really like this spot to film in um, just because of all the windows and getting some natural light for you guys. But uh, I do eventually have plans to like switch it up. Um, but anyways, there's that. Loki's hanging out over here on the side. He's just like chilling. Let me just, Let's see, there he is. So we're gonna hang out up here. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I needed some cleaning products. I had quite what I like to think of as a collection. I collect everything from Dollar Tree, by the way, in case you're new. I do. Pens, poster sticker letters, stickers, um, gift bags. I'm missing a bunch of stuff because I, I collect it all, really. Let's be honest. And you know what? I collect cleaning products as well. And when I moved from Florida to here, I wasn't gonna travel with all those cleaning supplies. So um, you're welcome to the people who bought my Florida house who inherited all of those good supplies. Um, I digress. So anyways, it's time to stock up this house with some cleaning products and that's what I've done. So there's cleaning stuff in here, but there's random stuff too, like this poster sticker, see? Um, I really like the font of this. I, I saw it and I thought, have I bought this before? I wasn't sure, so I decided to pick it up. They always change up the fonts and style, so I was like, why not? I mean, then I found the most adorable bubble bath that makes me just wish Micah was young again. Um, I mean, I guess I could use it, but it is this Dr. Bubbleos bubble bath. I don't know. I found three different ones. They're, I mean, like, look how huge these are. There's probably more. These look like dupes right here, but I don't, yeah, they're not. This one is grape. I mean, the packaging is really adorable. And then this one is bubble gum. And this one is gonna be your sour apple. So those are the scents. I feel like there's probably a blue somewhere. Um, that sour apple is unreal. I love anything that smells like apples. That is really, really, really good in my opinion. But some fun bubble bubble bath stuff from Dollar Tree that I'm finding. Then I picked up this uh, facial skincare stuff from Be Pure, this line that has slowly become a pretty big label at Dollar Tree. And it's definitely reminding me of like Sarah V in a way. Um, even Walmart does like a knockoff version of that, which is what I personally use. And this just kind of reminds me of that. So this is a gentle skin cleanser for norm for dry to normal sensitive skin. So I feel like that's new. And then I found the moisturizing lotion. So what I'm gonna do personally is I'm gonna take this to my bathroom and I'm gonna compare the ingredients to my moisturizer and my my cleanser and just kind of like see how this compares in that aspect. But these were a dollar twenty-five. Then be pure, I found they have this little like trio set. And I can't for the life of me remember if I've hauled this or not. I know I've hauled something similar to this, if not this exact thing. But this is just what happens honestly sometimes to me, you guys. I haul so many days a week, so many things. My hauls are generally really big, each and every video. So sometimes I just can't remember certain things. I think what stuck out to me is this right here. This is the tea tree oil scalp scrub. I've never seen a scalp scrub from a Dollar Tree before. So I feel like this is the first of its kind ever. Um, I love the packaging. 
it, I don't know, I feel like it stands up to some of the bigger packaging people. This is, again, a tea tree oil. This is a five-in-one leave-in spray. A five-in-one. So it adds shine, conditions, soothes, detangles, and protects. Okay. Um, and then we have this one, which is a scalp serum. Again, a scalp serum. That is very interesting to me. Um, I've never seen anything quite like this at Dollar Tree. I think the applicator is very smart for that, for the scalp. So I'm sure there's a step process to this. I don't know which step comes first in all this. I mean, I would assume the scrub first, then the serum, and then the leave-in spray. But that is definitely new-ish to Dollar Tree. So putting that out there. Then I found some hand soaps. These are very exciting. It's, I wouldn't say it's rare, but this is one of the things I don't see Dollar Tree turn around as often as I would like, and it's their soap collection. This is definitely giving holiday right here. So we've got fall, and then these two just kind of give winter more to me. But this is a spiced citrus. I guess this is also very more holiday Christmassy. Um, you can see that it's not filled to the top. They all seem to be like that. I don't know if they were like samples somewhere, but this personal care line I've seen at Dollar Tree before, so I really don't know. Then we have the frosted berry and we have the white pine. And I have to say straight out the bat, it looks like they were going for a Bath and Body Works dupe. Like it just looks like that. These, the the soap containers just just like that, right? So very exciting to see a Bath and Body Works dupe at Dollar Tree. The next item that I found that I don't see very often of either, either is like a mega hold glue thing for your hair. Here's that brand again, the same brand as this. So it doesn't have the Dollar Tree information on the back or their warehouse address, but so I really need to figure out this brand. If anyone knows anything about it, I feel like it's always come through Dollar Tree for a while. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, it's spiking glue. Um, this is really cool. I know for women, the slick back bun is very in style, very trendy, but also we're coming up on Halloween. This could be of use for that. Also, comment down below, let me know what your very first costume was in your life. I don't know if this was my first costume, but it's the first one I remember, and it's definitely the first one where I celebrated Halloween, I think, when I came to the States. I believe I was Cleopatra, if my memory serves me correctly. That was my first Halloween costume. Micah's was, she was Pooh Bear's Pot of Honey. So she was the pot of honey, not Pooh Bear himself, but, and her costume came from the Disney store. So it was like designed just to look like Pooh Bear's pot of honey. Anyways, what, what am I saying? But that's what she was. Comment down below what your costume was. Um, okay, next up, this has been on my shopping list. Uh, if you saw in the beginning, I'm using matches, which I do love matches. I need to get some matches from Dollar Tree. I don't know why, but I like to have certain experiences when I light a candle. Sometimes I want a match, sometimes I want a lighter. That's how bored I am, okay? Um, and I just need a lighter. <laughs> the fact that y'all come back and watch my videos, that's what surprises me the most out of everything. Moving on from that, um, I picked up these napkins. Not the first time I've ever hauled it. I think it's like a part of me, part of me is not ready to see Halloween leave Dollar Tree just yet. So it's kind of like I'm scooping up things where I can. Um, I also think that's kind of built into me now, knowing how Dollar Tree works and you just don't know what's going to be available next year. And this is just like one of those napkins that I think is the best print I've ever seen come through Dollar Tree for Halloween. And they've done it on plates and other things, 
but they really could have taken this print and done so much more, especially knowing that I've seen Dollar Tree take a print and use it on so many different things. Why didn't they do it with this? This would have been so good on so much. But anyways, I digress, so I got that. And this is the first time I've ever even seen these guys. I went to a different Dollar Tree, found these little like candle holders in orange and then the clear glass and it's wrapped with little spider, super cute. Easy to DIY as well. If you can't find this at your stores, get yourself some jute twine, wrap it around, stick a spider. Easy peasy, right? But also really nice that it's done for you. So I decided to get that. Um, next up, this is really random, but I've never tried a day in my life a cream soda. And the other day I had one and I lost my ever loving mind. How have I gotten to this age and I've never had a cream soda? And IBC at that, this is a big brand. I've seen it at Dollar Tree. I think I've bought sodas from Dollar Tree before. I haven't personally tasted this cream soda. And oh my God, this is so freaking good. I only got one. I think when I go to Dollar Tree, I tend to panic when I put a lot of glass products in my cart because I know I'm just gonna cause an even bigger backup. Um, but I'm a, I'm a stock up on these. I really am because I'm, I'm now obsessed with cream sodas. Okay, next up, I picked up these cute little books. Um, I get books for junk journaling. What I search for now, just bright, vibrant colors. Um, and this really did that, right? Super cute. Um, also, you know, if you have like a community little um, book spot down the street, I've seen it where they have like little houses with a door and you can go in, borrow a book, put it back. If you want to like maybe contribute to that, you can get these little books and put them in there for the neighborhood kids. I don't know. Um, I also got this one for junk journaling. If I had one of those, I, that's what I, I would do it. But I don't I don't have one of those where I live. Um, I've just seen them. So this one's a really cool illustration. I really like it. Kind of gives off a little bit of a vintage vibe. So had to get that. Uh, let's see. Next up, where do I go next? Let's go into, where are all my cleaning products? Now let's get into the cleaning products. So I did a refill on my sponges. So I got those. I love these because they get different colors. It's easy to color code. Um, you know, blue for bathroom, green for kitchen, that kind of thing. Um, then I got these. These are so good. Um, you guys have heard me talk about Vanessa. She's the cleaning guru. She's now like, she you knows she's paired up with uh, Scrub Daddy and all that. And she has given off, I think, her Dollar Tree list. And this is like one of the, the items that she would buy from Dollar Tree. And I totally agree. I love these. And what's special about them too is they have nail guard. Yeah, it's a nail guard. So it just, it has a really good grip basically. And you get six in here for the price. So I really love that. But then I found these Scrub Buddies, which is a dupe to Scrub Daddy at Dollar Tree. But they are in the shape of a fall maple leaf. If I don't see some gingerbread or snowflakes or Christmas tree in this format from Dollar Tree, they may be getting a letter from me. Um, look at this. I found these two colors, traditional green and then the orange. This is why I love this store right here. It's little things like this. Uh, I just, I can't, uh, yeah. All right, I did pick up the Odo Ban. This is a disinfectant spray. Unfortunately now, you only get this size for $1.25. When it first started coming out, you could get the full size bottle for $1.25, but now the full size bottle is the bonus price. It's like $3. And I love this stuff. I buy it from Amazon as well. I buy the big bottles from Amazon now. Um, it eliminates odor. And what actually drew me to this, I actually found this before 
this showed up at Dollar Tree. So I went to Amazon and I went and did a search. This was when I was trying to eliminate as many toxins and chemicals in our home products as I could. And I wanted some type of disinfectant spray that wasn't harsh and didn't have chemicals. And this came up. So this is one of like the better ones, I guess you could say in that ballpark. And it kills viruses and antibiotic resistant bacteria. And it says the human coronavirus there in 60 seconds. So there we go. So I got that. Then I got this little Sterilite, what they call this? Caddy, um, super cute. If you look in the photo, it actually has like crafts in it, like paint and glue, which is really cute. And that would be perfect if you need to like organize the kids things and that way you can move it from different areas of the house. This is also great to maybe like organize things under the sink or in the bathroom as well. This would also be great to organize in a media closet like games or Legos. I don't know, Legos might come out like this little side, but this is just a great little caddy. Um, I've never seen that before at Dollar Tree. I'm sure it's been there a while because I really have not focused on their, their storage containers for a while now. I, I, if I'm being honest, like we all know, I've been so hyper-focused on junk journaling stuff. Okay, back to cleaning supplies, then I found these. I've never seen these before in my life at Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's some big brand, Le Lemmy Shine, I've never seen it. Um, this is a disinfecting spray, kills over 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. This is the fresh scent in the blue, and this is the fresh lemon scent in the yellow. But yeah. You can disinfect this on your computers, keyboards, doorknobs, exercise equipment, fixtures, floors, countertops, appliances, cabinets, garage, garbage cans. I was gonna say garage cans. Chairs, shower floors, walls, sinks, toilets, REM seats and exterior surfaces, furniture and vinyl. It kills E. coli, salmonella, some, some, MRSA, influenza A, rhinovirus. What is the rhinovirus? What the hell did the rhinos of Jumanji stay and leave something behind? What does that mean? So I got those and then I had to pick up this spick and span. Um, this, I just like the way this is packaged. I don't know why. And I know spick and span has been around for a while. They also have it in green. I think it's like lemon lime. I went with lemon. I tend to lean towards lemon a lot. Um, this is an antibacterial cleaner um, and it kills all the same viruses, blah, 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 stuff like that. This guy right here is my little ride or die. The LA's totally awesome. As seen on TV, this is the degreaser. All purpose concentrated cleaner, degreaser spot remover. No acid, no ammonia, no bleach, non-flammable. And I'm telling you, this is the best degreaser I've ever used. I love this thing. Love it. Um, and then my old trusty Fabuloso in the lemon scent. I'll go and I'll clean like the sink or toilet, stop it up, pour some of this in there, let, let it like, kind of like, I use it kind of like a candle, like a little boost of fresh, scent and then I'll like I'll flush the toilet and then you know drain the sink and it just smells really good. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video. I can't believe I told you guys about my leftover makeup. Um don't judge me. I'm gonna do enough of that for myself. Um I promise you that. And um but I yeah that's it. I also want to thank you guys. I can't believe honestly how long I've been doing this on YouTube and you guys come back and you watch my videos. And I know a lot of you let my ads run and you do all that to support me. And I'm just so grateful. And uh, I, w I wouldn't be able to sit here and do any of this if you weren't watching my videos. So thank you so much for that. I hope you guys have a really great fall day and I'll see you next time. Bye.